Hi, it's me Leo, and in this video I've got an interesting product to check out. Take a look at this. So here I've got a 3D printer that comes with an AI app that can create 3D models just from a photograph, and it only costs 200 pounds. Let's take a look. I'm not gonna lie, I've already unboxed it to print some test models for this video, so it does come in more packaging than this. But essentially you have the 3D printer itself, um, and a power cord. There's also an instruction booklet, glue stick, which is used to stop the model sticking to the base. It comes with a micro SD card with some preloaded models, as well as a micro SD card to USB adapter. There's a small pin to unblock the nozzle, as well as a small bag of tools. And finally, it comes with some filament, but I've already attached it to the printer. So here it is, the WeFun Tina 2S. So this is an FDM style of printer, so it sort of lays down filament. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm brand new to 3D printing, so I'm gonna talk you through my experience with this printer. So we're gonna start this video off by covering the design and features of this 3D printer. Let's go on with it. So here it is, the WeFun Tina 2S 3D printer. So if we take a look at this side, we've got the filament that feeds in through this wire and into the top. And on the opposite side of the device, we have a power port and a USB port if you wanna connect it to a computer. And then on the back, and the front there is just an open window with some LED lighting so you can see what's going on. On the top of the device there's a slot for the micro SD card as well as an LCD display and a sort of a turning dial to control the LCD. So this is a mini 3D printer so it's actually less than 30 centimeters tall which is very compact and as I mentioned this is an FDM style 3D printer fused deposition modeling so it uses this filament feeds it through, melts it at the nozzle at the end and sort of builds a 3D model on this base. Speaking of the base, it's actually magnetically attached. So you can remove it and sort of pull the model off at the end. As you can see, it's still got some residue from some previous models that I've made. So some of the key features of this 3D printer is a resume function. So if the power goes out while you're printing and printing can take a number of hours, it will resume printing exactly where you left off, which can save a lot of time. So WeFun have actually designed an app called Polo Print Cloud, which you can get on iPhone and Android. And you can use this app for a number of features. You can wirelessly send models to the printer to print it sort of remotely. And if you're not sure what you wanna print, the Polo Print app comes with a library of models that you can just use and print using this printer, which is very nice. But there are also some AI features baked into this app that allow you to create 3D models from photographs. And we're gonna be testing that feature out later on in this video to see if it's actually any good. So I'm now gonna show you how to set up this 3D printer and we're gonna test it out by printing some models and see what the quality is actually like. So the setup process of this 3D printer is super easy. You just have to plug in the power cable and switch it on. And then the printer will light up and you'll get the WeFun logo. So you next wanna make sure that you've inserted the micro SD card. So we're gonna pop that in. So it'll have a screen like this initially and you can use this dial to control the printer. So you just click on it. Uh, there are a few options. So if you wanna print from the SD card, then you use this print from TF button. And as you can see, there's a few models preloaded on the SD card when you get the device. There's a rabbit, a pterosaur, a frog, a fishbone, and it has a time of how long it's gonna to take to print that model. So I actually have already tested this printer out by printing one or two of these uh, stock models. So we're gonna have a look at the actual quality of the print. So the first thing that I printed was this pterosaur. And as you can see, it's got some articulating wings, which is really cool. This took no prep. I basically just clicked on the model on the screen and it printed it within like an hour and a half. It's actually very high quality. Like a lot of 3D printed items, you can sort of tell that it's been 3D printed, but the detail is really good, especially on the head. You can see there's an eye and a mouth. Yeah, so that's the first item that I printed. I then printed this fish bone, which is probably my favorite model. It moves and it feels very high quality. Um, you can still tell that it is 3D printed. I was very impressed with the quality. This took about an hour and a half to print as well. I next tried to print this elephant, but unfortunately something went wrong and the alignment messed up halfway through. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and print this again. But as you can see, the overall quality is pretty good. And the final thing I've printed so far is a frog. So this model doesn't move, but it's fairly detailed. Um, so this will just give you an idea of the sort of quality of 
models that you can create with this 3D printer. So to set this device up with your smartphone, it's very easy, you just click um, and then scroll down to Wi-Fi network and then to Wi-Fi QR code and then it'll show a QR code. Then go on your phone and open the Polo print app and at the top, it will say add online device um, and then basically just scan the code with your phone and then click submit and then it will add the device to your phone and it should appear there. Um, but it says offline, so you need to set up Wi-Fi. So click configure Wi-Fi network and then you have to scan the code again like that. and then select your Wi-Fi network. And then once you've put in your Wi-Fi code and clicked OK, it will set the Wi-Fi up on the printer, which is fairly easy. So now you can see the app has an icon of the Tina 2S and it says local online. So it's now connected to the internet, which is good. So there you go, that's how you set up this 3D printer. Now we're gonna test out the app and there is a feature called AI GC, which allows you to create 3D models that you can then print just from a photograph on your phone, which sounds very cool. So we're now gonna test that feature out and see how good it actually is. So here we are inside the app. So just a quick look at the app itself. So you can click home and it has 3D models that you can basically just use and print using this printer. Um, but if we go over to creativity tab, so there's a few different options, but at the top is um, the AIGC mode. So you click get started. So we're now gonna take a new photo of my face, create a 3D model and print it using this 3D printer and see how it turns out. So if we click on the photo icon, take a photo. There we go, we're on the selfie camera. Let's use this to take a photo of my face. Uh, let's crop the bottom of the photo out on the top, just so it's my face and then click start. And it will take about two minutes to generate the 3D model from that photo. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go and make a cup of coffee. So there you go, it's generated a 3D model of my face just from a photograph. Let's take a look at the results. So that does look quite interesting. Um, from just a photograph of my face, that is impressive. It's managed to create a 3D face and sort of map the textures on top of it. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's try printing that. So I'm gonna click the print button on the bottom of my phone. So we're just gonna leave the settings how they are. I don't know enough about 3D printers to mess with them. Let's click start. Okay, it's doing something. I think it's sending the file over to the 3D printer. Let's see if it's doing anything. So it has started doing something. Um, so it's heating up the filament. I forgot to put glue on the tray, but it doesn't matter. It's just gonna be a bit more tricky to remove the model afterwards. Um, if we go back onto my phone, it does say that it's gonna take seven hours and 45 minutes to complete this model. So it is gonna be about 10 o'clock this evening by the time this model's finished. So we're gonna let it do its thing and then check back in on it once it's done. And I'm gonna go out and enjoy the day. So here we are seven hours later and the print is coming along pretty nicely. Um, it says we're about 80% of the way, 81% of the way through the print. But the problem is I'm running out of filament. Yeah, I probably should have uh, thought of that. And I've ordered some more filament that's coming tomorrow, but I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this print off, which is a bit annoying. So yeah, we're gonna stop it at about 85% when this filament runs out and we're gonna see what it looks like. So there we go, I think it's officially run out of filament, so we're gonna stop the process somehow. Yep, stop printing. 
and we're going to see the model. So it got to 84% complete. Oh, it's coming out for us. There we go. Let's remove the magnetic tray. So here we have it. 83% of my face. So we're going to remove the model from the base plate. It's always very satisfying. Oh. There we go. And now it's just a case of sort of breaking away the excess plastic. It's quite satisfying actually. There is quite a lot of waste plastic on this one. So there you go, there is the model of my face or 84% of my face. Um, so yeah, I'm actually very impressed by that. Could obviously do with a bit of tidying up um, and I did end up using the fast print setting so the detail isn't gonna be as good as if I let the printer take longer to print this. So does it look like me? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you're interested in checking out the WeFun Tina 2S and you want to try out the impressive AI app that generates 3D models just from a photograph, then click the link in the description below. And let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on this product. And I'll see everyone in my next video.